So in this video, I'm going to show you the process of exporting data from Leica Infinity Office software into Carlson Survey 2019 to do fill to finish work. And we need to match a few settings in both Carlson and in Leica Infinity. Uh, so I'm going to go to my survey tab. I'm going to go to edit fill to finish codes. I'm going to open my code list. And what I need to do is go to my code table settings and view my special codes. These are the draw commands that uh, create line work in Carlson. And what I need to do in like Infinity is match uh, some settings in Infinity to my special, my line work special codes here. You'll see I've got begin line, I've got uh, start curve, end curve, and close line. So I've switched over to Leica Infinity, and we will check our settings here. So to do that, we'll go to File, and then we'll go to Info and Settings, and then we'll go to Features, and here are our line work flags in Infinity. So a begin line, we have set to Start or S, begin three-point arc, and begin spline are all set to PC. That would match the begin curve command in Carlson. And our clothesline command is set to CLS, so that would match our clothesline command in Carlson as well. So these are set correctly. So I'll go. I am now ready to export my my project from Infinity. So I'll go home, and in the home screen, I'm ready to select export. And our export will select an ASCII file. Once we have ASCII files set for our export, we need to select a template here in our export settings. You can have multiple templates for multi to, for exports to different types of software. So in this case, uh, we can create a new template. We can load a template from a file. And I will attach the, the file I'm going to show you here to this the link in this video so that you can download it. There are a couple of things you need to know about these export templates. So I'm going to go ahead and select one here called PNEZ uh, line work and for Carlson. And we're going to edit, and we do that by selecting the pencil here. So the primary thing you need to know is that the template is unit specific. So the unit is set as part of the template, and you'll notice here that I am in US survey feet. Uh, so you might want to create separate templates for metric or U.S. feet or international feet, depending on the units that you use, or you need to remember each time you do your export to come in and edit the template and select the proper unit. So I am now ready to go ahead and complete my export and import this into Carlson. So I'll go ahead and press OK, and I'll select my export name and press Export. So the data export is complete, and I'm here in my Windows Explorer, and we can take a look at the file. Bring this over to the screen so you can see it. All right, so we're here in Carlson. We'll go ahead and close this down. And we'll go to our import. Go to points, import text ASCII file. So we're here in our exported data folder from Infinity, and here's our Rose Hill Park topo. Select that, I'll press open. I'll make sure that my draw points is set to fill to finish so that we get our line work. Press OK. Here's our reference point. Uh, again, this data was collected with a Leica GS18T from a, a real-time network, and of course, when you're in Leica Captivate, it stores your real-time network reference station, so we're just gonna skip that point. Got 363 points have been brought in. We'll press OK. Uh, we're going to split all multiple codes. That's fine. And you'll notice that our line work has come in. I have resized my point attributes so that we can see our line work a little better. And we'll just zoom in a little bit. And you'll notice that uh, we have parking lot. Uh, we have some islands in our parking lot. Here is a picnic shelter. And I'll zoom down here at the bottom. Here is a bathroom facility, and you'll notice that I did make an error here in my line work. Uh, I should have stopped this curve as it came around here at the corner of the building. Now, if 
forgot to enter my PT and actually entered the PT over here at the other end of the building. Uh, so what we could do in Carlson is we could edit that point, correct that code, and re-import our ASCII file or redraw our field to finish, correct our line work. And we are done, ready to go ahead and start drafting our, our, our topo survey. So one final item here for you, if um, you download the template and you want to install it into your Like Infinity, uh, you will need to have Like Infinity version 3 or up to use this. And to utilize the template or, or import the template, what you would do is go here to your export screen. Just like you're going to export the file. And then you'll again set your template to ASCII. And you'll select, you go here to your template, drop the arrow down, go load from file. I have this file stored on my desktop. So I could select that and tell it to open, and you're ready to use that file.